FEMNET, a pan-African feminist network of over 400 women's rights organizations in over 40 African countries across the continent. Feminet has changed my life in many ways. Feminet is about informing and sharing ideas, strategies, and experiences for gender equality and the rights and empowerment of women and girls. I have been at the center of translating the dream into reality. And as I look back now, one of the things that gives, gives me great joy is to see that that dream come true. Feminet is about influencing policymakers to create an enabling environment and availing adequate resources for the realization of an inclusive and equitable society. Twenty-six years and still going strong, Femnet has positioned herself as a convener, organizer and facilitator on dialogue around critical issues including women's involvement in governance and leadership, promoting women's economic empowerment, advocating for sexual and reproductive health and rights, ending violence and building the women's movement in Africa so as to ensure African women's voices are amplified and influence decisions made at national, regional and global levels. Feminate is well positioned as always to champion the cause of African women and I feel that I am really very privileged to be part of this great cause that Feminate has taken and the challenge that it has taken on to make sure that it provides a voice for the voiceless. Today, 20 years after the Beijing Platform for Action and 11 years after the Maputo Protocol on the Rights of Women, there has been heightened consciousness, commitments and actions that affirm the goals of equality, development and peace for all women and girls. So our engagement has been more on the advocacy front to ensure that women's issues, women's concerns are taken seriously, are deliberated on and are integrated into policy debates. But what is the reality on the ground? Do we feel any progress? Has the situation truly changed? Are women's issues being taken seriously in our private and public spheres? In my vision, I'm seeing a lot more presidents who are women in the next 25 years in Africa. I'm seeing more than 10 African countries with women at the helm of the country. That's the presidency, yes. That's what I hope to see in the next 25 years. Imagine the ambitions, aspirations, and realities of over half of the population shaping sustainable development and driving true transformation. Gender is not women, it's actually a men and women. And today I have benefited a lot with that because I've been involved in gender issues for quite some time. Imagine having half of our countries in Africa led by female heads of state. Imagine this. An African society where gender equality is realized and women and girls enjoy all their rights and live in dignity. This is the Africa we envision, the Africa we want, and most importantly, the Africa we need. Through our collective struggles, this is possible. Let us make it happen.